This is California Bay, Umbularia Californica. Uh, this is a California native. Grows up to about 5,000 feet. We have one growing in our backyard. It's a native plant. I've seen it grown some very rarely up to about 6,000, but it's very rare to find them that high. So you won't find these in Big Bear, but you can find them around Arrowhead. This is just, uh, they taste like the Grecian Bay, which is a plant that's na actually native to the Mediterranean area. <clears throat> it's called Loris mobilis, and if you buy bay leaves in the store, that's what you're buying. If you get California Bay, uh, the leaves are stronger than the Grecian Bay. And uh, if you would use five leaves of the, of the Grecian Bay, you'd use two, two and a half leaves of the California Bay for the same amount of flavor. <clears throat> um, they're very aromatic. They have a nut growing later on in the year. It's edible. You're supposed to roast them and stuff. We have tried it many times and I just can't get my, my, my taste buds around the flavor of them. We've never, but uh, I know other people that uh, they roast them and they like them. So anyhow, they, they're not toxic anyhow. So. And this the plant will be loaded with uh, the nuts later on in the year. And you can see there's bay all over this canyon. These are kind of small compared to some of them. Some of them will get almost as big as these alders here. Is so, that one over there, the one that's growing really tall, or is that a different one? Right. There's one right there. Right on the way out, I'll point yeah. out some of these. In search and rescue, the, 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 uh, the aroma is so strong in these. And in search and rescue, my son was in search and rescue for six years. And uh, sometimes on a body recovery, you know, especially if the body has been there for a time and it's starting to smell, um, you know, that doesn't smell, that rotting flesh doesn't smell too good. So they would take uh, a leaf like this and stick it in the nostril again, in both of them, and, um, and breathe that. And it, wards off the smell of the decaying body, you know. So that's one way. And you can use them um, for uh, for that, for cooking. And another use for it is for insect repellent. Uh, yeah. um, we were up in uh, Racine, Wisconsin one time and uh, went, went to this one store that sold uh, beer and winemaking supplies. And I wanted to get some yeast for uh, making wine. And I uh, went in there. And uh, <clears throat> Marianne, my wife, noticed there were a bunch of grain moths all over the place. <clears throat> and she said, well, those are grain moths. <coughs> um, so they said, yeah, those are grain moths. And uh, we've they been said, here for four or five years. Elevator. and. They haven't, we haven't been able to get rid of them. And she said, well, you need bay leaves. And uh, I said, well, what? She said, well, green moths hate bay leaves. So when we got home, Mary, we picked a box of bay leaves and sent them up to her. And then we happened to be up there a couple years later and walked in the store. And uh, they didn't recognize us. And then I said, well, I don't see any green moths. And then she, she recognized, said, you're the people who gave us the bay leaves. And I go, I go yeah. I said, oh man, we haven't had any, you know, and they put them all over every place, and, uh, and they didn't have any grain moss. And so, you know, we I wanted to get some more supplies, and they were giving us all sorts of stuff, you know, they couldn't give us enough stuff, but getting rid of that problem for them, so. <clears throat> but you can put them in, in grains at home, you know, if you have, like, even beans or rice or wheat or whatever, just put a leaf. Uh, in there, uh, in the jar or the bin or whatever, or maybe in the cabinet, and it keeps the green moss away. And uh, when you have it growing wild like we do here, I mean, we can change them daily if we wanted to. I mean, we have so many of them, but you know, change them once a year probably if you, you don't have access like we do. Um, another common name is uh, bay laurel. Uh, this grows, this is a plant that grows all the way up into Oregon. Uh, and let's see, what do they call it? Uh, 
a bass, I think a bass went up there. Two, they call it bay laurel. And, uh, anyhow, it's Umbria, California.